Um, we're here to discuss the, the property and how it was kind of handled. Executive don't need on this. I don't have a clue about what this is about. This is about um, public health. Um, so some of it's private property? Mm -hmm. Private property. Just don't mention their name. Okay. That's the simplest way to handle it. All right. So we um, were notified by the hospital that there was um, this patient that came in and had um, history of bed bugs in the home, um, and they were admitted to from that hospital. We went from Hutch to their home, and then we're admitted to Stafford Hospital. Stafford Hospital. Home about two days. Mm -hmm. um, Stafford Hospital notified me, and we got health protective services involved. And so we were, I think I was notified on Friday the 21st of October. Um, I was unable to get out of the office due to the short staff. Um, so it was inspected by Doug Brown, who's the assistant. Um, officer for the city of Stafford and APMS for the Adult Protective Services worker came out on appointment and they went through the property and this is what they found. They sent me all of the pictures. We found oh uh, the <coughs> live bugs as well as lice. So there's lice, I mean, real cockroaches lice, not and leaves. And, um, bed bugs down on the property. And the patient had been in the hospital with that for about four days and had been in other treatment facilities. And we notified them, and interestingly enough, they knew about it for all the taking measures. So we got the uh, unusual position of not knowing and in place of work comes up. Is this the Yes. That is Stafford Hospital. Yes, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not that's good. Now, <laughs> this is almost bad. Um, so <laughs> this is after the left, guys. This is what they hauled in out of the house. Oh, my. See, there was an agreement in place that there was an audit for coming in and out. It didn't happen. So we went out and blockered it on the 26th. I was able to go meet Doug um, and we blocked it and he was to steal it in and out business. So I got notified on the 30th of this of November that um, the patient had been carrying things in and, in and out and he had been storing stuff in the hospital. In the hospital? Yeah. In the hospital let him do this? So That's when better. I talked <laughs> To the nurses, they said that Todd had talked to the patient and the patient's girlfriend and told them that he was to come in from the house, um, but they were carrying it in in like Walmart bags, so they weren't inspecting every item. So that was it contaminated 10, 11, or 10 and 12, and then the infection control room in between. And that's what this picture is of. Um, so basically about 10% of the space in the hospital. This is what I found out and then the patient was discharged that night. I contacted the hospital this week um, to see how it was handled with the follow-up and they said that they just did regular cleaning. They denied any, seeing any bugs. I talked to the maintenance man and this is how he handled it. Um, they just did the regular cleaning and inspection. So Hutch, when I talked to the infection control nurse in Stafford, she said that Hutch Hospital had contacted them, offered to help demonstrate proper cleaning and disinfecting, offered the, their heat disinfector to the hospital, and suggested that the bug contractor come and inspect and treat. 
that was Hutch's suggestion to us for a bed, or to them for a bed bug exposure. Um, so when I contacted the maintenance guy to find out where he was at on all this, this is what he told me, there was no bugs, and that they just put it like it was a regular room. So, um, it was definitely an exposure. Right. When we know there was items that went from the house to the In the hospital. <laughs> we were actually unable to get a, uh, a response from the uh, city attorney until the day that he actually went home. And at 10 30 at night, he sent me that after numerous calls from local judges on down. And he sent that, which is basically the outline of what it is. But the problem is, we had already had the cat out of the bag. I thought we had sealed the house, and they had an agreement that they were going to go through it, sterilize it, and then give it to them, but see it, the uh, order mentality took over and they started sneaking in and out of the house deliberately and then sneaking stuff into the, into the hospital. And the, so. and the lady that was with him was staying at the hospital with him free of charge and so we now have a sanctuary hospital situation. So, Seven weeks. Um, and so you guys get to stay free too. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so where I know we're at now is finally the property has been sealed and limited injuries. We finally got to that point after a thousand and one phone calls when I found about it to get sealed up. Um, Doug has let exterminators in yesterday. They're working on the, the property, and so I'm getting. At the city level. It was a sad, sad house. They've been, Tim had been dealing with this just for the outside. They've been working for years just for the yard to be cleaned up. Nobody ever been in the house. <laughs> and, um, and Doug himself managed to get a couple of lights on him. And um, I think realistically, uh, the uh, the surveillance of the house pretty much stopped after he got the lights on it. And, uh, but it was really a problem. But it comes back to uh, two things. Um, the refusal, frank refusal, to seal the house. This is a public health menace. I can declare it a public health menace and seal it. And then they can come back and argue about it later. As it says, there's like four recourses in here in the next six months. But the problem is, the people are going in and out of there. The door stands open. Uh, Don says that there's no way that that can be sealed. Well, I can put you with swine flu and never even look back, stick you in the house. We did that. And put a placard on the door and say, mm -hmm. quarantine. Well, bed bugs are an exclusionary thing. They don't theoretically carry disease. And so they're excluded unless you're in a hotel or lodging etc. Well that's where I think that in this case we actually provided lodging to at least one individual to the <coughs> for seven weeks. Now, seven seven weeks. weeks? Seven weeks. And her dog was in and out. And uh, realistically I think we provided lodging to that though. But the agreement that the hospital was set up was a gentleman's agreement and assumption on my part was it was being followed up. It wasn't. And, uh, and see, the thing is, when you don't clean the hospital, um, or, or if you have an infected hospital, reputations get hurt even worse. I mean, it's just like uh, a motel. You know, nobody will go in there. And it doesn't take long. But Don says we can't break his constitutional rights, well I can't hurt, you know, I can do it for any other infection. And by going into the hospital, you know, for free, and being a, a, a lodging issue, I don't know what difference this is. I'm not an attorney, but this only took place between 9 and 10.30 at night. And uh, there were a number of parties involved, and that was sent through the next morning, bright and early. But, Doug would, Doug would seal it at first, and for some reason, then he wouldn't seal it later on. <coughs> and so it's, 
you know, I, I knew a cat's out of the bag, but she got a girl in line somewhere, and she finally sealed it. How do you seal it? You have to build a uh, uh, hasp and a lock on it, just like you do. And right now we have it taped, and we know the tape each time we let the exterminators in so we can see where they've been in. Mm -hmm. So that's how we have it sealed at this time. And so they all in? In fact, that's a fire hazard issue. That's I don't know over there. So, but it is, you know, you guys are the ultimate um, people here for the county. And um, I was told by parties involved to escalate it out of the city and try and go to the stars. So um, here we are. So what do we need to do? Well, I think the bulldozer, the dump truck. I would want my trash over here. Actually, so I have to get through this inspection because they unfortunately just uh, there wasn't any real inspection for cockroaches. And you remember the cockroach <coughs> over there in Sanford that went on. You know, they killed at one place and they were the neighbors. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and so. We didn't do any cockroaches, and uh, in the hospital we found cockroaches. And so, you know, here, did it come, did it come in, or was it there, you know? I don't think we want to do DNA on it. But, um, you know, it's just one of those things, but we've got all two things, and let the disinfectors uh, come in, you know. Are they it. treating outside of the house, too? They're doing, I have no idea. My problem, you know, I, uh, because the only way we can get any progress if I don't get satisfaction is coming to you guys. And we may not get satisfaction until the elected personnel arrive. Because I spoke with him too, and he was the one who suggested that we come over here. So that's where you're at. And, um, so what's the correspondence with the hospital been over that their problem or issues with this? Uh, I've had. Or how, how, how have they handled the... Quite honestly, they, you know, they refused uh, to accept that it's an issue. And um, uh, they have no um, background or experience, you know. The, the two entities in the that are involved um, knew about it, and they, they just tried to minimize it. And, and then they offered to come out and go big boys wouldn't do it out here. And they literally have to heat your house, and I can't believe furniture can stand this, but that furniture might. 120 degrees, and then back in the up as they come out. I mean, wow. pretty crude. Yeah. 120 in my house. <coughs> this, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, let's see, this is, these are, this is down where they're the sickest people. These two leave rooms. And that's why they have a uh, decontamination room between them that is now an apartment or was an apartment. And they let this go on. I mean, they yeah. let somebody stay in there that wasn't admitted to the hospital and let her stay in there for seven weeks. Yeah, they're not, they're not a hotel and didn't take the name the door. <laughs> and left the dog in and out. But well, reported, I didn't see the dog. My understanding is the hospital has an adjustable bug issue. They deny bugs. I've talked to the infection control nurse and she urge the administrator and the maintenance to have it inspected and follow through with what Hutch does. Um, and they just said there's no bugs as their response to her. So that's where it's still moving up. I think if you don't deny it's there, <coughs> we'll forget it and go into the next thing. Mm -hmm. but, this, with them. but we've had a long enough, you know, simple 
the week I was gone, the 15th of October. This has been on since the 15th of October. So, uh, you know, and those critters can go through, you know, their own cockroaches. Can you can we make copies of that? Can you picture this one? Can we make copies? I would like a big copy of this so you have know, it. Have a but the, the hippie issues are huge. It, it's just very, you know, the alphabet issues are very really huge in this, but still the thing is reasonability. roadside <coughs> way back in October, and, uh, and just continued along the lines and optimization of limitation of the folks is just one thing. I mean, this is a simple thing to do. You won't go home, period. You know, getting cheaper to buy stuff that they need to put in each other in the hospital yeah. secretly. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, they allow them to bring stuff into the hospital. They didn't want to stay there. What did they want to even bring it in for? Because she's living there. Yeah. She lived there seven weeks. One of the attorneys that I visited with said the word sanctuary hospital. Mm -hmm. you know, Is that? Well, I worry about shock. It also affects like the emergency room. Is that? You know, uh, that's that's a real question. Right, from the, did you go through to going to the pocket room? Anything? No. No? No, it's down the hall. Patient hall, and there's no. 10 and 12, and in between 10 and 12, there's a little patient room. Because we have, we have to disinfect, like if you have FC um, or one of those diseases, gives them the capability to clean up, dispose yeah. their stuff, and it's also a mini kitchen app, so they can repair their stuff in there. You know, they don't do that anymore, but that's actually the, what should be the ceremony mm -hmm. between the two sick rooms. So can they put out bait traps or something like that and determine whether there's... They, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know either. See, this is where this is where this heat comes in. I told I think Chelsea was doing the same thing. But actually, heat the room to get active, then you'll find them. <laughs> it's really crude. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you know, the old days, these mercury and arsenic was sit around on them, and uh, they just sprinkle around the devil's side, and they still do it in Europe. But here, they heat them up and look for them. The vacuum. Uh, they have a chemical application they can leave on there that limits them, but it's not really 100%. So, the way you get rid of them is by vacuum. You have to mm -hmm. take off um, like outlet covers, you have to remove everything. Because any nooks and crannies will hide in. Mm -hmm. So, it's not like you can just vacuum around the floor. You know, you have to, like, everything. everything has to come off, it has to be vacuumed thoroughly. So what do we need to do? I guess what I would recommend is this be pursued because it's your, your building. 
this be pursued through a, a license pet patch? <laughs> they are pets. Yeah. The name uh, exterminator. Uh, exterminator and served by clear before we start planning and locations of this. And, and those three rooms are just this one height. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not just there. And, and then my worst case scenario is what happens if one patient gets Bingo. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> well, they could certainly start out with those three rooms. But. I had all. Or he or and see that's the thing. That's Any exterminator? Do you have one in mind? No. They're contracted with advanced. They just have to I just think a licensed exterminator that uh, has to put his bond on the issue, so he has to take that. I talked to to one in Kinsley, uh, and they have kind of an arrangement of one-time treatment. Which is X dollars, and then one follow ups. You know, I mean, it gets into, I don't know what you want to do here if you don't find any, what you want to do. And I would then, treat anyways. <laughs> so, but that's the only thing that just concerns me. And um, until this came through, I had absolutely no control over the house. And that was, when I say, after 10 30 at night conversation with me. It's already on it, but it's for the outside. Yeah. You just see what the city's going to do, and then if they don't, they do something. Yeah. We'll see them on Monday. Yeah. Okay. You don't know that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't you have the authority to condemn? Yes. I already did. Okay. Well, like, it's been well, monitored for unfit for human habitation. Yeah. And they drained it and, and shut the gas off. It's not a house. It's been placard already. I need to meet with the council to push forward to see where they are with the abatement of it and where the residents are and the counseling. They're not allowed to get, ever get in there and get stuff out of there and spread it down. They are not allowed to take anything out, but they can treat it. Like if they take it out, then they're just spreading it. Yeah, they can. Shouldn't be allowed to remove anything, but I'm sure. And that's how it was supposed to be all along. We were never supposed to be allowed to remove anything. Let's see, the hospital was, I believe, early on trying to treat everything, put them in bags and eat them, and then give them clothing and stuff like that. And that's where it started. And it seemed to be, for the first week or two, fairly effective. So the yeah, hospital did try to do something with all the junk that was in there, and then uh, should have allowed her. In. Well, that was. Well, they should never allowed her to stay seven yeah. weeks in the hospital. There was no discussion of this at any time. She so, I mean, you know, it's not her my feelings or anything, but it was just uh, the you uh, know, this all went on kind of sub rosa. Now here we are. So, but if you would do that, I think that will end. That will be done today. Okay, we're going to get this all. I think we can ask for it. And uh, at this point, uh, and then if we have other people here with it, then are we going to treat their houses? I'll say who's the software story. See the Stafford? I don't know who would be for them to do something else for us. I was out of the hospital. Uh, I was out of the hospital. Uh, 
say. No, I mean treating that house. Oh. Oh, no. I mean, you ordered it to be treated, right? Mm -hmm. The owner will be responsible for it. And then if they, he doesn't do anything in his timeline, then the city can push on it, but they would be responsible to whatever they need to do with it. Then you consider the lodging issue, the hotel, motel, wherever you're staying, is responsible to treat for them, and so that's where the hospital is going to come to. Mm -hmm. I guess you call it lodging on that. I don't know what else you call it. <coughs> Where it's starting in his home to the hospital, like the home stuff is his problem. Yeah. And then it becomes cities. discussed it with us this was a year or two ago. Yeah. That was fun. That was everywhere. No. And then the guy passed away that lived in this house. No. The St. John house? Yeah. And I mean, the Lord there is just the one that's house or anything. No. Uh, and there ain't been nobody living there to my knowledge. But I mean, was it recently and she died with the answer? Where's that? The Troy 2 house. Well, the Troy 2 house. Yes. Oh. Oh, that house. Yes. There's nobody living there right now. Well, I know, but if it was already infested with. Sister in law. Sister in law? No. No, not the daughter. But it was already infested. Doris said it was infested with bed bugs back when he was alive. Mm -hmm. One of the best things you found actually was the dye during the cold winter. Oh, okay. You know, it actually helps. But Doris was in and out of his house so much, she probably knows what kind of picture they're hanging on the walls. I would never forget walking. Um, last I knew, the sister in law was working on the weekend. And she's working on it. Okay, I just, I mean, you got to talk about this. I didn't see no activity down there. I just wondered uh, what, do you, what would happen in a case like that. Yeah, that I just didn't want him to come out of that house and go mm -hmm. into my bar or into, <laughs> into anybody else's house around. Troy's house. Yeah, or the house in between those two. Yeah. You can move them pretty easily trying to treat them. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, especially the weather is warm that day. Get rid of cardboard boxes. Turn all over Esther's in on the basement. It was, that was the first time I'd ever seen Copper. She's climbing up the wall like in the movie Stalin. <laughs> going up the wall. Wait till you hear him chew the mucilage off the envelopes and stamps. <laughs> you heard that? The crunch, crunch. Well, I was in, in the service. Uh, I've been, been there. Places where they had mice uh, were doing that. You could hear them in there crunching, munching off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've been in places where mice were, were in the house. You know, Brian? I need to switch. It takes about two steps. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty cots, fifty-two blankets, and fifty-one pillows. That's how much stuff was out there. Uh, most of the cots were still wrapped in plastic, brand new. And then after, better than the last picture we saw. <laughs> we laundered everything. And I'm sure that was my nice TV. Yeah. Yeah. And after I laundered everything, then I went and bought some totes. Oh, all that's yeah. different totes. Yeah. Right now, all that stuff stored in my big evidence locker in Stafford. Except a little bit of room when I got so I don't know the pictures show it, but it shows I all the site stuff stored in there too. So. Emergency preparedness like shelter in place stuff is what all this is. So if there was anything that came through that we would have the stuff ready to deploy and set up a shelter. Nita said there's even some, some store stuff on the fourth floor that belongs to the health department, yeah. which is signage. So we're trying to compact all this into one area. Them? I'm not sure what's up there. There's signage up there. Um, that type of thing, and then I have uh, tents and stuff out at the health department too, so we could compact health together. So. My idea was, is, I went, I asked Nita about storage, and she kind of laughed at me, so I'm like, well, I haven't had an idea, you know, what about putting this in a trailer so it's deployable to wherever it needs to be? And so that's what I kind of did. I went got an estimate, and it is for $3,050 for 6 by 12 trailer converts. First trailer. So I thought about compacting everything in it. I do have money in my budget to do that. I don't know who all the shelter stuff belongs to, whether it's family health or emergency men. I have no idea. But we figured we could put it all in one deal, like her tents and everything, and that may have been to one day hurt the trailer. 
who could park it wherever. I figured I was going to put a hitch lock on it, you know, make sure she had a key. There was a key on the emergency management vehicle key ring and one at the sheriff's office. So, you know, wherever it needs to be deployed to, they could have gone to it and go. I had the light tower and the generator stored at Stafford now inside buildings because I had room for them. So, I don't know where I stored the trip, man. I stored out back behind my office or someplace because it's camera monitored now since we put recycling dumpsters out there. So, <coughs> my fire department there. Well, they keep that. Used to be that command unit, you know. Yeah, down the lot would be. Yeah. Where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Because besides the hitch lock, I think it needs to be chained to something. So you're going to the hitch lock just slows them down. It's not going to stop them. I don't think it needs to be inside. So you can get access. Yours monitored outside too or just inside? You don't have a camera in the back part of the in the entrances, it's maybe the entrances just from the inside. inside. Uh, you know, the one place, well, sorry, I, I said I got the thing in one place that once we get to do move Ryan out of the sandy land, but I mean, that's kind of out of the way. Yeah, it's yeah. not real convenient. You know, and that might not be bad because if there was an incident that took out St. John. I was just and thinking if you, if you stored that. Else, that way you could go to get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was just yeah. thinking if you stored that trailer inside, the tires would, I mean, because it's not yeah, something it's not going to move around a lot. Mm -hmm. So but that's all I was trying inside. to think. And we're not going to yeah. use the yeah. buildings for much anyways. My plans were to build some shelving, you know, to fix everything, to hold all these cots, and put the totes in there. There should be enough room to handle several apartments and emergency stuff in there. So. I saw it that way, it'd be all in one place, so we don't have to look for anything if we ever need it. Yeah. How big was that? Six by twelve. Did you try doing him down any? <laughs> Quote from me is if the Bruce will give the camera a good deal. So I went on top of Bruce and said I thought that was pretty reasonable for a brand new one, so don't hurt the try. <laughs> I'd uh find a two inch shape right there. I would move that we purchase the trailer, six by twelve trailer for three thousand and fifty dollars to store all the emergency management stuff. Second. Then move the second we purchase the trailer for emergency uh -huh. preparedness. Someone in favor say aye. 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 Hospital garage. Is there any rat? I hate to say this, it's a dumb buggy day. This is rat. <laughs> is there any rats in there? I don't think so on that one, there is. I think mean, that's a pretty clean deal. I've never seen it. I mean, they've set it up once and I've never seen it again because I was even talking to Todd that something needs to be done. We need to practice setting that up. That's been quite a few years ago. Yeah, after having the back, they'll burn up on suddenly rat oriented. Um, <laughs> You know, might be something. And did she tell you about to allow access into that one for one exterminator? Oh, yeah. If there was a small H bomb that would be available. <coughs> did she tell you what he told me off the record? Mm hmm. You can do that. Oh, okay. Well, he said he's been fighting for five years. They have it straight all the time. They go away for several months and then they come back. One from Donnelly. Hmm? Any guy from Donnelly there? Then you work at Don Winger, one of them. I'm one talking one. about my bug house and the owner. I talked to him yesterday. Yeah, but I'm Big next pool. door. Isn't there one of them from Don Winger? No, no not there. Oh, I thought it was a foreign for Don Winger. I can tell you who's lived both sides of the private sometime. Any call on the block, we'll be on that. <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh -huh. Okay. I move we approve the tax rule, correct? Second that. 
And then secondly, the contextual corrections okay. on Thursday. All right. All right. All right. Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the minutes of November 30th. Second. And move the second to adopt the minutes. Okay. November what? 30th. 30th. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Motion carried. Sometimes if I have questions, I don't know if it's worth it or not. How much is it? It went from three twenty-two to seven hundred and ninety-six dollars. What do you think? Do you ever use the League of Municipalities for anything? Well, I'm planning on joining as a county counselor. So you think so I can go ahead. Well, for me, for at least that first year anyway, because I didn't think of that. You know, I'm told it's going to be a great reference for me that I. It can, is. You know, it, it, if I have questions or issues. So do they stick you for? I don't know yet. Well, <laughs> I don't know this yet. This is a Stafford County um, subscription. Right. So, so he, can use he can use it. I can use it. At least can use uh, it. Okay. You can use it. Okay. I didn't think of that. Okay. We'll go ahead and do it. Then. All right. Let me go. Yes. <laughs> what? Nothing. Hey, I made you a pellet coffee. I know, thank you. That's the first one in four years. I wish you'd made it black and white. But no, I wanted you to get the <laughs> full picture. kind of gross as <laughs> Not my fault. Okay. Oh, and here's the... Inside squabble. <laughs> here's the number to the bat phone. The bat phone. So you guys need to put it in your phones and then text him your Is phone number. phones? Mm -hmm. I said, I don't need data, I don't need, all I need is a phone. a phone, so if you all will text me your phone number and your name, I'll have you in my phone, and it's already rang yes. once. Did you get mine? Yes. And somebody asked me, well, is this for clients and everybody else? No, 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 just Stafford County, period. You can call, it's fine. Papers 
And then I'm looking at this this letter that, that came from uh, Lord and Stoll, November 29, 2016, where it says something about September 19, 2016. Mm -hmm. The only request for information that I that I found, uh, fellas, first, and the reason I'm saying this has got to be the first, because they said it's the first. Mm -hmm. First request for production and inspection came from them and it had five questions. Okay? There's the five questions. This, though, is dated the 31st day of August. So, and I cannot find anything dated September 19th. Okay? So I'm assuming since this says it's the first, this is the only one mm -hmm. for the first one. So that's going to be my first question when they call me. The second thing is, I mean, let me stay with this. So I received this with that date, okay? Now remember, this is on ad use values, okay? And they asked for a couple things in the questions about they even wanted something from our Board of Equalization. Well, we haven't had that for years and years and years. And then what that was is, Hearings used to go from me to the county commissioners, and then from the county commissioners it went to the board of tax appeals. That was cut out many, <coughs> many years ago. It's because it wasn't working. It's because it got back to the good old, you know, uh, in, in family members and so forth like that. that. That's why it didn't work. So that was cut out many, many years ago. Anyway, if you remember then, the board of tax appeals because it's at use values, I can't ask questions because I'm not an attorney. Okay, and, and plus they're not my values, they're property valuations values. So, so property valuation intervened, and they answered the five questions. So you forwarded that to property valuation? And the Board of Tax Bills did too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was done September 16, 2016, actually three days before they said they sent this and I have and I haven't seen anything dated this. So the five questions was answered actually <clears throat> not necessarily by me, but they it was answered by the property valuation department's attorney. Mm -hmm. And they addressed them the same number order. So I did that on the sixth, October sixteenth. Yes. So that's been addressed there. The second thing on this here letter is the, the whole second paragraph is it is wrong. Uh, for starters, and I noticed this letter went to their clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got a problem. And, and since our county treasurer's here, she can uh, she can uh, confirm this. Uh, they're telling that they said the Board of Tax Appeals, prior to the date in which the first half of your 2017 real estate taxes become due. Okay, what year is due? 16. Okay. 17 is not due. Okay. They want to pay their taxes a year in advance. Good luck. The 17 is not due in this letter. And second of all, then they also advise them to pay under protest. You can only have by law one hearing per tax year. All these people that appealed, they appealed in the spring. That's why we're going to the Board of Tax Appeals. They can't be accepted to do a payment under protest. So everything this they put in this letter to their clients is wrong advice. Can I? Oh, they're not my turn. <laughs> <laughs> so I better be on the lookout for that. Yeah. So, and, 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 well, and the reason we do this now is, is when I have a spring hearing with the property owners, before the tax day is out, the county treasurer requests a list of all those people. So they have it in their office so they know those people cannot pay under protest on that parcel. Because you might own a lot of parcels. If you didn't pay under protest on another parcel, you can do that. You can't pay under protest on that parcel. 
So that's where we're at. So you're telling them they've been wrong for all these years? <laughs> So I don't know. I can't. I can't address what 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 this is here. And I actually, I actually called uh, Gordon this morning in, and he said that Josh wrote this. He didn't have no idea what this letter, what they requested. I told him that this was incorrect and that they can't do payment under protest also, and he somewhat disagreed. And I and I left it at that. I've, I've had the opportunity to visit with him on another issue. Okay. And I talked to him, and he did not, in my talk to him, throw you under the bus. He said it's not Carl's fault. There was a misunderstanding, is what he said. But I'm telling you what, just my honest opinion is uh, taxpayers are wasting their money hiring that guy. Mm -hmm. He is clueless. Mm -hmm. Well, the point being, Carl, is that I was asked about this, and I said I can't imagine that, that Carl would have shelved that request and not replied. And but I just want to make certain, you know, to the public that you do a very good job and you submit things on time. So the case is closed in that. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. That was the only thing. So that's. <clears throat> That's where we're at then. I will call the individual who sent me that letter and, and tell him that the letter's wrong. Okay. And I'm certain, and well, the attorney should be calling in and telling him this is not the fine. Okay. You know, and, 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 and actually, he could have gave the best advice here. The best advice he could give his clients right now, because I'm getting, I'm getting ready to download our 2017 use values, mm -hmm. is this... This hearing day will probably be is February 23rd. Thank you, February 23rd. Okay, that's almost. I think I'm going to mail out our new valuations. I think February 24th. He would, by giving this advice, he should probably give him advice to do another spring hearing mm -hmm. for 2017. Nothing to do with well, anything for 2017. That's true too. <laughs> Well, the thing that bothers me is that it was going to be, what, Monday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it had been over with mm -hmm. in, De in December the 5th, mm -hmm. and now it's going to be February. Mm -hmm. This individual said, well, tomorrow I'm going to Topeka. And I said, for what reason? Well, for the hearing. And I said, no, it's been continued. What's that? And I said, it's continued. It's delayed until February. And they were already and they were ready to go. And ready to go. So, <laughs> I mean, right. it's nice that they were going. Yeah. But it's too bad that they weren't informed. Right. So, I, that's all I did. I wouldn't be opposed to talking some of the clients in there to come to a meeting, or I can visit with them individually. But I think they're totally wasting their time with that guy. I closed the land deal. That's why I was down there talking to him. And the day before, at 5 o'clock, he called me and he says, I haven't got any of the paperwork done. We're supposed to close the next day. Do you have an attorney? So he made my attorney do all of his work for me, fix all the papers, get all the signatures, and never got paid a, a dime. He don't. So switch gears on that topic. Uh, what about getting the rest of the county done? Have you found anything else? No. I think Stan wrote a letter, you know, how we were supposed to get on that by May to, to try to get it moved up um, into into the uh, NRCS, uh, but I don't think there was a response. Because what I'm afraid of when this settles, we'll have a, we'll have a lawsuit on us pretty quick. That's what I'm afraid of. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wish we had a plan in, in action, I guess, to get that done. <clears throat> or against property evaluation, we, we would be listed probably. Thank you for
Thanks a lot. Everybody says. Going good. <clears throat> call a 30-minute executive session, uh, attorney-client privilege, and include Dr. Farmer and uh, the county clerk. Sorry. The minimum second we go in the executive session for 30 minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. I'd make a motion we go back in for 31 minutes with the same people in here involved. Second. The minimum second we go back in the executive session for 30 minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion. Then we'll adjourn. <laughs> <laughs>